Hello and welcome back to our game impression series of Close Combat. This time we play the last stand of Arnheim and we will play this scenario here as the allies. And if you want to know more about the features and all the things these campaigns are telling you, just check out the other game impression videos that I'm explaining more here. We will just show another short impression of the game by playing it and I think it's gonna be very enjoyable again. So, for about half an hour we will play. We have our units and we have to conquer several spots here all over the map. Usually it's good to always keep all our units together for the start until we have finished off most of the resistance. And here we go. So we are the attackers, so we have to move in. I'm just checking which would be the best position. This of course is a very dangerous one. As in all these houses, the Germans can have ambushes for us. While well, these ones are rather easily taken. Okay, so we go for the hard ones first as long as our force is still fresh and complete. So everyone moves in now. Our tanks and also our infantry. Wow, there's already the first shootout. I see, so there are German units around. We took some losses, they took some losses. Yeah, did we take a loss here? No, okay. That's just color coding, no loss yet. Good. And our tanks, of course, are just shooting everything out of them. Usually infantry is no match for a tank. Tanks are very powerful, except you have anti-tank units or the infantry units are capable of moving in very closely. That's why we always need a scout group close to our tanks to be able to spot them before they can do that. Then the only real challenge is that usually tanks do not have so much ammo, while infantry has way more ammo, so we have to be careful not to spoil all the ammo. Okay, here we go. We move in all our units here, the tanks, the infantry, everyone around. And we keep on sneaking. Sneaking is very important, doesn't make really such an exciting gameplay, but if you just rush in somewhere without really thinking first and without really scouting first, you will be quicker dead than you can say, ouch. So we want to avoid that and bring in our guys quite nicely. Here we go. By the way, the color code shows the cover rating. If they're green, they have a good cover. That's because they didn't move here. They were just lying around here, but now of course you move out. But we still sneakingly move out. Wow. We got shot from somewhere. Question is from where and how. Is this some kind of mortar unit? I guess so. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're taking quite some fire here. Come on. Can we destroy these guys? Wow. The motors are hitting quite hard, which is good. Usually tanks do not get shot down too easily from motors. And we have our own mortar units, of course, as well. At least we can do some shooting here at the infantry with our mortar units. This is an anti-tank unit. Good, now we can finally nicely shoot at this infantry. Wow. But well, these poor guys are really getting slaughtered. Of course, mortar shooting at infantry is very effective. So they somehow spotted them and now they do some really bad shooting. Hmm. Okay. No more unit we could see here right now. I think we have these infantry units pretty nicely under control. But still there can be everywhere Germans just waiting for us and ambushing us. That's why all the shooting that we cannot really react to right now. Okay. We move out all our infantry units, step by step. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, more shooting. Uh-huh, over there. Someone in the house? Hmm. Okay. I could, of course, each time slow down. I will not do that so much, so I can show you more action. I'm not really playing the way I would play if I would play the campaign, because then I would not look for action, but really look for having the lowest losses and really beating up our opponent the best way. That's not our priority, now we just want to show for quite a few things here. So we move it, and that's what we do. Yeah, this infantry unit is history, obviously. Move completed. Now the question is, where are the other infantry units? Still, they can obviously see us, spot us. Oh, they were not history yet, that's why. 
Also. Mm-hmm. All their history. Whoa. Where's that coming from? Motor shooting? And some other shootouts. Wow. Obviously there are units in there. Infantry units, we send another tank. We move in fast with the tank, so the tank can give us support as quick as it's there. And of course we want to move it in very fast right now. Yeah, you can see now with all these shootouts going on, it's always nice that we can slow down the speed. We cannot completely pause the game and give orders. I would prefer that one as well. But of course it's more realistic also like that, that you cannot completely pause a battle. But I'm more the type of turn-based player, as you know, when you know my channel. So I would always prefer stuff like that. That would be my personal wish. Okay, these guys suffered quite greatly. Redeployed. Okay, mortar units. Move fast, move around. What are you? Your machine gun crew, interesting. Then move fast in here. Mm -hmm. Come on, all of you guys, move fast up here. Our tank will also move in fast. Hopefully being able to really put some pressure on that infantry. Yeah, now it's starting to take quite some losses, but that's also because I didn't really take care that we wouldn't. Could have been, of course, just slowing down everything and giving new orders to my units. Okay, you guys, move fast up here, do some scouting for us. And then the tank should be able to shoot at everything that is shooting at you or that you can see. Here we go. Mm -hmm, our Crombo tank is moving there. Oh, come on, destroy the infantry units in there. Do it. Are you also shooting at these guys already? Can you shoot from here? No. Just turned around, huh? So we move you in fast as well. Move it. Move completed. Okay, we can move you fast in here now too. As the situation here at least seems to be pretty much under control. Yeah, now the tanks will help. This you tank here first and then the second one. That's usually the end of the infantry in there. Poor guys. I pity you already. Because nothing can really match a tank that is attacking, as long as it's not anti-tank units. Okay. Still shooting back at us. Well, that will be finished pretty soon, with our tank now getting in range. One, just fire. Destroy them. Now you guys, move fast up here. Yeah. I think we just killed another soldier in there. And we should be pretty much suppressing the rest of them. If we do not destroy all of them already. Mm-hmm. Okay, guys. Oh. Ah, what is that kind of unit? Is that Panzerschreck? Anti-tank unit? Doesn't look like, because it hardly shoots back at us. At least not at our tanks. So our tanks will have fun with it again. Thank you for moving out there. Move it. Okay, are these guys finished off now? Let's just check it and send in the HQ platoon. And if they will still try to shoot us, then we will shoot them too. Move in fast, everyone. And see what's there. Yeah, these guys are just history very soon. They have actually no ability to survive our assault with the tanks. Oh, what's the some shooting coming from here? Actually, there it is. Okay, Panzergrenadiere. Hmm, that's a pretty strong unit. But our tank should be able to answer that. Go for it. But our second tank will soon move in here as well and approach the guys in the house if there's still some. Move it. We're pinned down. Yeah, yeah, they're pinning down our infantry pretty nicely, but we should be able actually to take them out now. Come on. Cromwell, what are you doing? I ordered you to fire here. Destroy the Panzergrenadier. Come on, do it. Mm-hmm. Oh. 
Okay, here's the Panzergrenadier in there. Obviously, but I mean, most of them look rather dead. <laughs> so, even if they're still in there, doesn't help them anything. Now our tank is also making short work of these guys. They should be soon finished off as well. Hmm, where are these shots coming from? Again, mortar. Oh, they offered a ceasefire. That means we already halfway destroyed them. Yeah, we can see it here. That shows how many units they still have left and how many we have left. These poor guys are actually more or less history already. Come on, move fast. Tank, and now destroy them. Are you bucked down or something? Can't you move? You should be able to destroy them. Come on. Destroy the rest of the Panzergrenadiere here. Yeah, but if they offer ceasefire, of course we will not take it. Because it just means they are nearly done. And then we will just finish them off completely. We can do some mortar now, that we can see that here are some guys. Panzerschreck, so that's very dangerous for our tank. So we will attack this unit with our infantry. Yeah, it's always the game of one unit is strong against a certain kind of unit and you just have to use them wisely. Here we go. Tanks destroy all usual normal infantry units easily. Oh, what was that? Wow. They got shot. So there's still guys in there in the house, huh? Let's shoot at it. And suppress them. Yeah. We always use tanks against infantry as long as it's not in close range. And we use infantry against anti-tank units. So that's how we do it. Pretty simple way how to do it. So, they should be kind of suppressed now. Still not? Move in fast here. Let's see what they do. Come on, our mortar should do some nice job here as well. Hmm, the problem is always the tanks cannot see very well. So we have to send a few infantry guys with them to be able to make the best out of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You would like to have a ceasefire, forget it. Scout group, move in here. That would have been, of course, the group we would have been using all the time to scout around. Brand group. Can you assault these guys now? Move fast in here and let's see if there's still something left. And these guys up there should be in trouble as well. Come on. Our tank can shoot at them. Interesting. Can you? Because the little wall was protecting the infantry from the other infantry to shoot at them. Ah, you can. Okay, shoot! Do it! And then destroy the rest of them here. Yeah, you can see we really destroyed half of the force already. So we are doing actually very fine. And we would easily win the scenario here. Come on, platoon, what are you guys doing? Who shot at you? Try to move in this house first and then we see from there. Yeah, whenever we move, of course, they are easily visible, while when we sneak, they are hardly seen at all. So that's how it works. Usually we should only move them quick in, like uh, assault a house or something, or place when we have already done quite some shooting first at this place and at this house, so all the units in there are suppressed and can just be killed easily from the assaulting infantry. Good! So, and more down. Come on, you guys. You move in here now in the house. You, of course, stop shooting there and you can start shooting up here. I think there's still something alive. So these guys cannot do anything. Okay, looks pretty neat. Do you side these guys now? Do you side these guys now? Come on, destroy them. Panzergrenadiere. Yeah, you should be finishing them off. Come on, what are you doing? Yeah, we are assaulting here, that's right. And? And? What's the result of it? Do we take this Panzergrenadier out? Or are we getting taken out here? One of our guys is injured, we are assaulting. And? I think he's done. Yes. Yes, target eliminated, good. This tank can stop shooting now. I still have quite some ammo, so not running out of ammo easily in this scenario at least. We have surely enough to destroy all of the German units. Look at that. We have destroyed two-thirds of them. 
So I think that's the right time to end the scenario. You always win a scenario when we destroy all of the units or if we take all the victory locations, then we have won the battle and have taken the part of the map that we were fighting for. Yeah, you can see it's quite enjoyable. I was playing now on a lower difficulty so I can show you more things before getting killed. On a high difficulty it's a little bit more challenging and I think it's altogether just a greatly enjoyable game. So see you next video. Steve Warrior, over and out.